Yo, 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 what is up guys, Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and drop a comment down below. So anyways, today's episode went to Harbor Freight, did another tool haul, ended up picking up uh, probably like half the Icon Line tools that they sell there, but really trying to build my home collection because one thing being a full-time tech at Toyota, it's really annoying when you got to do a side job or work on your own car at home and half your tools are at work. And I really just hate bringing a bag full of tools home. And then it's like, I get home and it's like, oh man, like I forgot this tool. So you know what? I just said, screw it and bought most of what I need. I did forget some stuff, but I'll go ahead and go back another day and pick those up. But anyways, let's get started. I'll show you guys what I picked up. And also really quick too, I know I said I'm doing the $100 Visa giveaway. Um, if you guys comment on my 25k subscriber video, I have not gotten around to putting everyone's name in there. I will get on that real soon. Don't worry guys, I didn't forget about that. All right, so first up, we got the Icon half inch socket set. Metric, of course, um, ranging from size 10 through 27. Uh, reason I got this was because I don't really have too many half inch sockets at home. So like I said, it's really annoying trying to just bring home the sockets you need. Figured I'd just get my own half inch set to have at the home. Uh, it does not have a couple sizes you can see, uh, such as 20, 23, 24, and that's about it. Everything else kind of is full range. I uh, wish it came with the 24 because that one actually is pretty handy, but for the most part, this will be good. Go ahead and set that down over here. Next purchase as well is the deep set, which is the equivalent of the last set I just showed you guys, but just of course in the deep sizes. Next up, what I picked up, these are actually pretty pricey. Probably the most expensive purchase on today's tool haul but the Icon ratcheting wrenches, ranging from 10 through 19. This is honestly a badass set. Ratcheting wrenches are so nice to have when you can't fit a socket in and you're just sitting there trying to turn the wrench. It's really nice to have the ratcheting in. These really do look identical to my Snap-on set, which is non-ratcheting, but these are a little bit longer, so it'll be nice to get that extra leverage. And 10 through 19, it's pretty much the only sizes you're gonna need when it comes to wrenches when working on most import vehicles. So really excited to test this set out. Next item, we have the screwdriver set. Funny with these, these also look very identical to my snap-on set. You guys can see here's a snap-on. So very identical fit. Um, really kind of lost a lot of mine when I went moving up to here. So don't really have a full set of screwdrivers. So I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go with the full set of Icon. Even though it's a tool you don't really use too much, it's nice to have a full set. And what's nice about this one is it also has the stubby screwdrivers. So that's pretty cool. My snap-on set did not come with that. Next up, we have the quarter inch metric set, uh, ranging from five to 14. This is an awesome set. I actually have this exact same set at work and it's been holding up really great. Uh, a lot cheaper than going to buy snap-on version and even comes with a holding tray to hold all your sockets like most of these tools I'm showing you guys. So really quarter inch was something I was really lacking at home. Uh, it does suck, however, I did forget to purchase the quarter inch ratchet. because I don't have a quarter inch ratchet at home. I'll go ahead and probably go back to Harbor Freight and pick that up another day, but yeah. It's gonna be nice to actually have some quarter inch now, now at the home, because that was one big tool that I would take home a lot since I didn't have it here at the house. Next up, here's a tool that I would always take home from work because I never wanted to go out and buy a Torx socket set. So this kind of ranges from quarter inch to three eighths, depending on what size Torx bit you're using. I mean, again, this is not really too common of a socket you're gonna be using on like Toyotas, Hondas, and Nissans. But lately, Toyotas have been starting to use a little bit more Torx. And every now and then you'll run into import cars that have certain bolts that are on there with Torx sockets or even Allens. And yeah, just a tool that I would always not have at the house. And next up, we got, this one's kind of big, hopefully I can fit into the frame. But the Icon extension set, it comes with a quarter inch socket or a quarter inch extension, a 12 inch and the 18 inch. 
as well as a 3 8 long extension. This is a 24 extension, so that's pretty cool. I've never really had so uh, extensions this long, but a lot of the times I would just get a bunch of 3 8 extensions and stack them together. So hopefully this will eliminate that problem, as well as too, all these Icon tools, they are lifetime warranty. So if anything happens, it's nice to know that you could just take it back and get a free replacement. But honestly, the quality of Icon tools, from what I've noticed, are very impressive. For the price, you can't go wrong with going Icon. Next up, just got the Braun folding wand light. It's magnetic on the bottom. Uh, I've been using this one at work, and it is super bright. Battery life is good. Has a little light on the very end. And I'm really a big fan of wand lights, so I really wanted to have a wand light for my house. And also, this one's very cheap. Uh, usually it goes on sale, so definitely recommend the Braun wand light. Now, coming down to some less important tools, but still crucial to have. I ended up picking up an extension cord to have when I end up running the AC compressor or the air compressor, uh, running extra lights outside or really anything. Nice to have a nice little decent length extension cord. Another miscellaneous item I picked up, a box of zip ties, kind of all sizes. I go through zip ties quite a lot with the 240, so I figured I'd just pick up like an assortment of different sizes zip ties to have. Next up, we got the 3 8 standard Pittsburgh Harbor Freight brand wobble extensions. I uh, actually haven't tried the wobbles, I would just get the regular extensions, so hopefully these are just as good, but the original set of just the standard 3 8 extension that I have of this brand, uh, I've had the 6 inch one and the 3 inch that I actually have since I lost this little one, but I've had these since like I started wrenching like probably 8 years ago. And that one's still holding up day to day working at the dealership. So I'm dead sold on these Harbor Freight extensions. One thing I will say though, is stay away from the quick release extensions. Those ones I've had fail on me as well as the Chrome ones. I've had the indent that actually holds the socket on. The spring in there just fails and the extension becomes useless. But these black impact ones have not let me down yet. So hopefully this wobble one does me good. Then end up getting a giant pair of channel locks. These are kind of nice for when doing brake jobs on the rear calipers. Usually the brake caliper spreader tool doesn't really fit in there. So I like to use these that work a lot to retract that piston back into the caliper when doing little brake jobs. Or just anytime you need just like a lot of biting force, these massive ass pliers get the job done. As well as these fast adjust pliers. I actually haven't tried this Doyle brand. I've tried their Dykes from Harbor Freight, but I haven't tried these quick adjust pliers. So pretty interested, hopefully these can't even get this working. I need to get these out of the box. But hopefully these are just as good. Uh, I know Nipix, those are a very reputable brand for when it comes to these quick adjust pliers, but those are also very expensive when it comes to adjustable pliers. So I'm gonna try these out. I'll let you guys know how they hold up in the future, but the other pliers I do have from Doyle have not let me down. So I think these will be fine just for the pad anyways. And coming to the final tools, just picked up some small stuff. Uh, mini picks. These are really nice. A lot of times you can't get like a lot of electrical connectors trying to lift that tab inside. Uh, they become brittle. So these are nice to kind of sneak in there to pull off electrical connectors or kind of fish in for any little wiring, stuff like that. So I just got a cheap set because it's something I won't really use too much. As well as like a cheap little blower just to blow dust out or maybe like clear out like a spark plug hole when doing spark plugs, trying to get the oil out. And as well as a magnetic tray because we know Magnetic trays are very awesome. Working on cars, being able to put all your nuts and bolts on there. Don't have to worry about them rolling off the car or anything, you know? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video of my Harbor Freight tool haul. I know you guys like those videos. You guys seem to like the last one a lot. So, unfortunately, I will not be raffling these tools off like I did with the last haul. These are actually for the house. So I'll actually be able to use them to give you guys like a full review later on down the line. But as of right now, so far, I've only been able to test out the quarter inch sockets as well as the Braun light and yeah, and the extensions. But I mean, I'm pretty sold on Icon. They make very solid tools and for the price, like I said, you just can't beat it. When it comes to Icon versus Snap-on, I would just get Icon any day and the brand's only getting bigger and bigger. So pretty excited to see what they put out in the near future. So these are all the tools I picked up today, like I said, just for the house. Uh, I won't be using them too much. I mean, not regular daily, daily, like working at the dealership, but you guys are curious how much I spent on all this. 
All of these tools here ended up running to about 668. So really not too bad for the amount of tools I got. I mean, try going onto a big tool truck and picking up all these tools for that price. And with the lifetime warranty, you do the math, guys. So, I mean, everything was fairly cheap, as you guys can see. Really, the most expensive thing was the ratcheting wrenches, which came in at 150 bucks. But the rest of the socket says they're all like 50 bucks or less, and just really awesome, because they're just really great quality tools. So I was gonna unbox them so I could show you guys a little bit better, but I'm kinda busy right now, so I'll probably do the unboxing, uh, kinda get my toolbox organized, fill it out a little bit better. And then maybe I can do like another toolbox tour once everything's out of the box. So maybe that'll be in a future video. But that's all I got for you guys this episode, guys. Hope you guys made it this far to the video. If you did, don't forget to like and drop a comment. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. So, but that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the